What's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk through exactly how to build a custom GPT using ChatGPT's brand new update where you can build your own custom GPT. Let's just dive right in and get started. So what you'll notice when you log into your ChatGPT or OpenAI account is that if you have a plus or enterprise account, you now have this added explore feature. So you can click on it and you'll be able to look at my GPTs, GPTs made by OpenAI. And if you haven't kept up with the update, basically these GPTs are custom tailored versions of OpenAI's regular chat GPT that basically can access different parts of data um, and that you can use for very specific use cases. And now you can build them yourself and later on down the road in about a month from now, according to chat GPT and OpenAI, you're actually gonna be able to add these to essentially an app store for other people to download and make money off of them. And so this is really, really cool. It's a, it's a honestly just a massive game changer for AI and where things are going. This is gonna put a lot of startups out of business who are basically doing exactly this and just building a startup or a company around it. Now it's so easy to do. And the cool thing is you can do it with no code whatsoever. So basically what you'll do is when you come into this new, uh, new, you know, create a new GPT, the first thing it's going to ask you to do is, you know, tell it what you'd like to make. So for the example of this, because I'm an Airbnb channel, I'm going to use this to build a a uh, version of ChatGPT, basically my own G GPT bot that spe specifically focuses on creating amazing Airbnb headlines and listing descriptions. So that's basically what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go, okay, make a Airbnb listing optimization expert um, that can help me to make um, Airbnb listing headlines and descriptions, maybe even photo captions. Now we'll just stick with and uh, descriptions that convert really well. Start with that. So now what the GPT builder is gonna do is it's gonna come up with a name for it. Um, it's gonna ask me if I like the name or if I wanna change it. And then the next thing it's gonna do is gonna come up with a photo, basically an icon or a logo for this specific app, this specific GPT. And it's gonna ask me uh, if I like that as well. So let's just wait a second here. So you can see that now it's come up with the name listing wizard. So I actually like that. I think we'll just keep it for now, uh, works. Uh, and then let's see what it does for uh, for the name or for the for the logo rather. And you can see that already it's come up with a bit of a description, Airbnb listing optimization advisor. So I really like that. That's good. Okay, and now it came up with this photo and it honestly, I just don't love the photo. And so what I'm gonna do is give it some guidance on how to make the photo better because it went really heavy onto the wizard and not really onto the Airbnb. So it's just a little bit hard to, to really figure out exactly what it's for. So I'm just gonna say, make it more Airbnb. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And the cool thing here is that again, rather than using code, I can use just plain English. I can talk to it as if it's just someone I'm talking to, I'm chatting to on the internet, and it's gonna actually know exactly what, I what I'm looking for. And it's combined with all these other AI uh, tools, basically in its toolbox, like uh, DALI, that's gonna allow it to make you know these really cool images. So here's a good one, you know, listing wizard, it's got the Airbnb logo, a cool house. I like it, let's keep it. Let's keep it. So now it's going to, uh, it's going to basically just guide me through a couple of things. So it's going to ask me some questions to help it better understand how to do its job really well. So what specific advice or information do you think is most crucial when creating Airbnb listings? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, going to actually come back here uh, and I'm going to show you how you can input some different files that are going to influence the way it works. So for starters, let's do this. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm going to upload some files. Let's say that will give specific guidance on how to create really great Airbnb headlines and descriptions. It's gonna basically tell me, okay, go ahead and upload them. Let me know once you're done. Uh, and so uh, let's just pause for a second here. I'm gonna grab those files and we'll come right back. 
Guys, just want to take a quick break here to say that for those of you watching who want to build cash flow and long term wealth by purchasing Airbnbs and short term rental properties, there's a link in the description right down below for a free training that'll walk you through my exact strategy for investing successfully in Airbnbs. Now, if you're not ready to actually buy properties and you wanna get started managing other people's properties on Airbnb the same way I got started and build a full-time income managing other people's properties, there's actually another free training linked in the description down below as well that'll be a really great fit for you. So whether you wanna invest in short-term rental properties and actually build amazing cash flow and long-term wealth by acquiring the assets, buying the properties themselves, or you're looking to earn a full-time income managing other people's properties on Airbnb, we've got some awesome trainings that are linked in the description down below that'll definitely help you out. When you sign up for the trainings, we're also gonna send you a few other tools and resources completely for free just to help you get started. Again, the links to sign up are in the description down below and both trainings and all the tools are completely free. So make sure to register for the trainings, links in the description down below. Okay, so we're back. And what I've done is I came over to the configure tab and this is where it gets really, really cool. In the configure tab, I can, uh, there's some conversation stars and I'll get to those in a minute as well. But one of the things I can do that's super, super cool is I can specifically upload knowledge that I want the, this GPT to reference in order to do its job. And so this can be anything. If you're making uh, a, you know, a GPT for, writing emails you can give it email examples of exactly how you like to format your emails if you are you know getting it to write recipes for you you can input recipes uh, so that it knows exactly how you want those formatted what types of recipes you like the, the possibilities are virtually endless here and so what i upload into the knowledge base for this was a niche definition worksheet which is a tool that we use in our trainings shameless plug links in the description down below uh, that you can use in order to better understand your ideal guest that's going to be staying at the property because that's going to be really important that this gpt actually ask you questions to better understand that so it can tailor the listing headline and the listing uh, description towards that ideal guest the next one I uploaded is a headline creation cheat sheet that we have. Again, we provide that in our training. Uh, and that cheat sheet basically just gives a formula for how to create a winning headline. And then another very similar tool for writing a winning listening description. So I uploaded those and I came back over here and I'm just gonna paste in some instructions that I'd already written out here. Um, and I basically I'm just saying I uploaded three files and I'm giving instructions on exactly what each file should be used for. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the GPT builder know that that's what I want it to do. Um, and it's gonna go ahead and then digest that. It's gonna spit out next steps for me. Okay, so after a couple of seconds, GPT Builder has come back and the results are pretty cool. It knows exactly what it's meant to do. So it says the listing wizard is now equipped with the guidance from your from the files you've uploaded. It's ready to generate tailored questions to understand your ideal Airbnb guest and create headlines and descriptions based on winning formulas. Uh, would you like to try it out and see how it crafts it uh, crafts a listing, or is there something else you'd like uh, like to refine? And I know that one of the things that's really important is that it uh, it follows and adheres to the character limit specifically for headlines headlines. So I'm just going to say, yeah, one more thing. Um, headlines can only be a maximum of 50 characters in length. Great. So now it knows that information and now it's basically ready to be used. So it's gonna update one file time and then let's go ahead and actually test it out. And then I'm gonna talk through some more of the different ways we can configure this and how we can actually share this around and decide whether it's gonna be private or whether we want to share it publicly, different things like that. Okay, great. So it's now digested that information. Let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm just gonna say, yes, I wanna give it a try. It's gonna let me give it a try. And then the first thing is now we come over to the right hand side of the screen here. This is where we can actually preview it and actually start using it and testing it out. Um, and so here's what it's saying. It's saying, okay, uh, to the right and start by typing something like create a headline for a beachfront condo in Miami, or how can I describe a spacious kitchen? Listening was really just you accordingly. So what I want to do is I actually want to configure these questions that are preloaded into here um, to make them kind of just make more sense here. So if we go over to configure, one of the things we can do is how can I make my listing stand out? I want to get rid of that. That's not really what this tool is built for. Uh, what's a good headline for a beach house? That's okay. Help me describe a cozy bedroom. Okay. Um, you know, I'm going to add a different one in here. Um, I want some help to create my Airbnb, um, listing headline. 
and description. And I'm gonna see how that works so that it can hopefully just guide me through it a bit better. Um, uh, as opposed to me having to ask it for specific things, I just wanna see how it actually reacts. So if I go, okay, I'm gonna go with this prompt. Um, I want some help to create uh, me Airbnb listing. I'll have to edit that one, um, but my Airbnb listing. Okay, I'll need some details about your properties. Here's what I need. So that I already love that it's asking for these property details um, and that because that's gonna be super, super important. I don't want just some generic listing headline or listing uh, uh, or listing description. I want something that's tailored to my specific property. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out and then we'll jump right back. So I went ahead and filled this out and I honestly am not giving it a ton of information because it's not asking me for that much. So we may need to edit it in the future, but I'm curious to see how well it does with the limited information I'm giving it. So the type of property, I'm just going with cottage. Uh, it's asking me for standout amenities and features. So I'm listing a few for a property of mine that I have in mind, hot tub, sauna, movie room, geodesic dome in the backyard that can be used as a bedroom. Um, two and a half hour drive from Toronto, five minutes from Algonquin Park, 10 minutes from Sir Sam Ski Club. They asked me the location and proximity to popular destinations or landmarks. As far as the atmosphere, I went with just cozy and spacious. Um, what, who I'm targeting it towards, I want families and groups, it's a larger property. It didn't ask me how many people it can accommodate, uh, but you know that's what I gave it. And then any specific experiences you want to highlight, I'm just going with relax and getaway, keep it really simple. I'm gonna hit enter and let's see what this thing spits out. So you can see now that already this tool is super, super helpful. So if we jump back in here, uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm, I'm honestly a little bit blown away. So you can see it gave me a suggestion for the headline, Cozy Cottage with Hot Tub near Algonquin Park, which is pretty darn close to what I would wanna do. I had already followed the formula that I gave it of descriptive word, uh, describing the cottage. I'd probably put the number of bedrooms in here in the headline uh, with popular amenity near popular destination that people wanna go to. Like, like it followed the formula really well and that's actually a really good idea. Now I might want to ask it for some other, like give me five other suggestions for headlines. Um, and you can absolutely do that. You can just type it in here, give me five other suggestions and it's gonna spit out more. I already really love it. I think it's doing a great job so far following the headline, um, the, the formula for that. Now the description is a little bit trickier. So let's go into it. You can see it does a really good job of copywriting the first paragraph. Um, and then this is what we're gonna put into the, into the uh, additional details or the more about this space uh, section on Airbnb because we have a character limit for that initial description blurb and already it's going ahead and it's you know it's highlighting a lot of the main amenities it's not highlighting the geodesic dome which I think is a really big oh it is actually with a geodesic dome bedroom and a private movie room so it's really highlighting those main amenities and the main attractions all up here right first and foremost in the description, which I love. It's starting out with a, a section on features and amenities. So it's just highlighting like the hard hitting amenities, the reason people would wanna book this right off the bat. And that's breaking down each room into sections so that guests can easily find the information that they're looking for which I love. I think this did a really, really good job. Now, obviously it's missing some detail. Like for example, in the primary bedroom, you'd probably wanna put uh, like, yeah, luxurious bedding for restful sleep, serene ambiance. But I wanna know like, is there a TV in that room? I wanna know what size is the bed in that room? And it doesn't have that information because it didn't ask me for it. So I'm gonna wanna tailor this a bit more. And so in order to do that, I would just come over here and I would input whatever feedback I have back into the GPT builder. And then that, that feedback is gonna be used used to influence the way this uh, this GPT operates for all future use. So I can further refine it a whole bunch and make it so that it really spits out exactly what I want every single time. Um, and then I can then start using it really, really easily. Now there's a couple other cool things you can do to configure. So what I'm gonna do is I actually wanna just get rid of both of these dif different conversation starters. And I want just this one as a conversation starter so that really what's gonna happen is my GPT is gonna lead the way and ask the questions that it needs to get from someone so that they can create their or listening description of the listing headline. Uh, now you can also uh, toggle on or off different capabilities like web browsing, Dolly image generation, code interpreter. You can add actions and you can actually integrate this with Zapier so that you can uh, basically have it have access to pretty much any other tool out there, any other software tool out there, which for this specific use case, I wouldn't really want to do that. But for any of you who want to, for example, have a, a tool, a GPT that's gonna integrate with your calendar or integrate with different softwares you use, I've thought about one thing that'd be really cool that we would do in our business 
is if we want to generate an email for sending out to guests to get them a book and then just send it out, I could integrate that into Slack so that my team can, we can basically train it to do that, uh, to generate that email. My team can reach out, hey, generate an email to remote the, the property to guests. We could even have it create like an Instagram post, things like that. Uh, and then we could actually just say, hey, okay, go ahead and send this email out integrate it with our email provider and have it send that email out to the list. And we can do that all from within Slack, let's say if we wanna integrate into Slack, so that instead of having to go and write the email, go into our email provider, log into that software, put it in there and then send it out through that software, we now can do all of that through Slack and have the added convenience of having this tool be able to actually write the emails for us. So there's, again, just virtually endless possibilities of what you can do with this. This is one niche use case for it that I've come up with of just creating a really great listing description and listing headlines uh, for Airbnb. I'm gonna be refining this even further and let me know in the comment section if you want me to make this available. If I'm, if I, uh, I might actually just make it available in the description of this video. Just check the description down below if you want to link to this specific tool and you can start using it, playing around with it and see what you think. If you don't see it there, then let me know by giving this video a like or let me know in the comment section that you want me to make this available to you guys. Um, and I will happily share this with people because I think this is a really, really cool use case for the tool that I'm pretty geeked out about. I'm pretty excited for. In any case, I thought I hope you thought this video was really helpful and really valuable. If you did, please take half a second and hit the like button down below the video. It helps me out tremendously with growing this channel. If you're interested in more Airbnb and short-term rental related content, then make sure you hit the subscribe button as well so you can stay up to date with the two new videos you post every single week on this channel about all things Airbnb and short-term rental. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.